What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another vlog and today I'm going to be exploring the city of Newark, New Jersey. Keep in mind that this is a big city with five sections, North Ward, East Ward, South Ward and Central Ward. So I'm going to be focusing in some parts of the downtown area. I already covered some parts of the East Ward, the North Ward. So I'm going to take you guys with me. So join me. So it's been a minute since I've been in the downtown area, but I heard there's a lot of developments going on and I can see it from a distance. I've been living in the city for 11 years in different parts but i'm gonna see what's happening in downtown show you guys i made it here to the borderline of the downtown with the ironbound and you can see here's the iconic penn station in newark one of the busiest train stations in the area probably also in the states where you could take trains you know to other parts of jersey you could take the amtrak you could take a lot of trains in new york city but like i say so far see how they're developing the sidewalks then over here this is going to be i think newark gateway center so they're redeveloping and you can see the brand new not sure if it's open yet, I don't think so, but it's kind of like a overpasses that connects some parts of the neighborhoods with the downtown. And it's gonna be like mini malls, they have like shops and restaurants happening around. So I'm gonna walk to a new park that they opened maybe like a few years ago, the Mulberry Commons. And it's like a building that they redeveloped, Ironside. So it's been a minute since I've been there, so I'm gonna see what's happening. Here you can see another development, a high rise building. And this building is actually by Shaquille O'Neal. He's developed one building and one side of the downtown. This is another one he's developing. And I believe he's going to live in the penthouse. He also has a movie theater in Springfield Avenue. So he's doing, you know, a couple of things for Newark. Also, Queen Latifah is doing a couple of developments for the city. But let's go deep inside the downtown to see what's happening. It's been a minute since I walk here. This is actually Market Street. But look, how they put it beautiful over here. The flowers and everything. Like, a couple years ago, I don't remember seeing this, but I guess a lot is happening over here, but I'm gonna make my left to the park to see what's going on over there. So now to my right hand is the Newark Prudential Center. Prudential Center where they play concerts, the New Jersey Devils, ice hockey they play over here. This is actually the Prudential Center here and it gets really busy too. Usually when they got concerts or game and they're trying to develop the area around like open restaurants. Never being an inside, but heard it's pretty nice. I've seen pictures too. They even got like a Grammy museum, I think a couple of years ago, like last year, they did the Grammys over here. Also, they used to do the uh, VMA concerts over here, but it's like a lot of controversy happening when they do it over here. But I'll give you an idea and inside of what's going on. I think this is the area where they want to turn it into greenery and have like an overpass over McCarter Highway and take it to the other side, which is Ironbound. There you can see how the building is coming out. Like I don't usually hang out here pretty often, but so far it's looking beautiful. So that was a cool little walk around the park. And I'm just going to make it deeper into the downtown to see what action can I find over there. I'm by the Prudential Center and I see some spots here that I've never seen. I guess they open up some spots, so I guess when there's a game or a concert, you can come hang out here, have a beer. Must be new. Kind of reminds me a little bit of St. Louis. Like by the Cardinal Stadium, so pretty beautiful. Beautiful old buildings that they develop it. And this is a plaza here by the Prudential. And they got the statue of the hockey. I wish the basketball team would have stayed here in Newark. And then you can see the new building by Shaquille O'Neal. And then this is Market Street. And this is this part of Market Street is a little bit more developed than the other side with the intersection of Broad Market, which is probably the busiest intersection in Newark, New Jersey. Because a lot of people come from other parts of this area, like Orange, East Orange, and they do their connections with the bus. So it gets busy. But let's see what's happening. You can see the restaurants. You got brand restaurants, also got like local restaurants. I went to one of the restaurants here and it was pretty good too. And in the nighttime it's beautiful because the lights up the buildings and they got food store like a deli. This is where I went, the Novelty Burger. But I went like years ago and it was pretty good. And then over there, this is an old building, Paramount, but around this street, if you ever seen the movie of the Joker, they filmed it in this street right here. And they recreated it like if it was New York City or, or Gotham City, so it was something pretty interesting, but I still feel like there's a lot of work to be done over here in this area. And as I get close over here is Broad Street. Goes all the way to north side of Newark and then once you go to the other side it ends up in Belleville. 
This is where you usually see it packed. I don't see much people today, but usually this would be like jam packed in this area where people do, where people do their connections. So over here is Broad Street. You know the busy street that passes by downtown. There's a lot of stores over here. I used to shop over here, but it's being a minute. Usually by the Market Street area, that's where I used to shop and get good deals. This is a beautiful Art Deco building, really tall. At some point, they opened a hotel that was called the Indigo Hotel. But I don't think it was like a success, and I think they're going to turn it into Miko Studios with Murphy beds for people to live around here. But the Art Deco of the building is like really beautiful. You can admire it. Classic architecture right here. This is one of the first hotels they opened in downtown in a long time. The Courtyard by Marriott. The other Marriott they have is by the airport and by the highway. But then you can see what the street looks like and the city hall is over that way. It's like a mix of old architecture with a lot of shops. But maybe in the future they'll develop it, but I'm just showing you a little part of what's going on over here. Here you can see the Jersey Transit buses in this building over here. It's a city hall. I've been here a few times to take care of a couple of business, but yeah. And then the federal courthouse is over in the back end where you see that building is the immigration courthouse. And I can tell you it's been a long time because while out across the city hall they build this new building with a couple of businesses in the first floor. And I don't even live far from here, but it's just crazy to walk around and see something new happening, but I'm happy, you know. And that's the city hall right there. So like the city's doing a big comeback. And this is this must be like a big like a vegan shop. So a lot of local business here in Newark. There's even an IHOP, wow. So they even opened an IHOP right there in downtown. The other IHOPs are like outside. But now I'm gonna walk to another newer section called the Teacher's Village, which is a development of apartments, I guess for people to live, but mostly like teachers that work around the city. It's been built for a couple of years, but I'm gonna walk around because it's been a minute since I've been there. And I'm walking in a street that's gonna be pretty big in Newark, Healthy Street. But the best part is going to be in the other side, close to University Heights where the college is. Which I'm going to walk over there, but I'm going to show you what's happening in this part over here. Because I know there's a lot of developments going on over here. And I don't know if you can see it from, you can see it from a distance, but it says over there, Newark Ford. I'm not sure if it's like a newspaper or something, but I don't remember, I don't remember seeing it. And this is it over here, where you see this white new buildings. This is the beginning of Teacher's Village, where it keeps going over that way. Modern architecture, not old one, but probably like a couple of blocks here in this area of the downtown. But let's see what's happening. And you can see it, I think in the first floors they want to have, you know, like business, commercial business, like probably restaurants. But I think they still got a long way to go. You can see how new the buildings are. Made it back again to Market Street, where it's full of a lot of stores. You can get good deals too and good quality of clothes. And it goes all the way by University Heights. This Newark got like four universities. It got Essex County College, Rutgers University. The main one is in New Brunswick. And also got NJIT. Then you got street vendors. A little bit of everything you can find here. So just like a lot of neighborhoods, throughout the boroughs in New York City, even here in Essex County and Hudson County in Jersey. You can find, you know, streets with a lot of stores and a lot of stores that you find here, you'll find it also in New York City. So, you know, a lot of people from all over to come and they shop around here, but I'm back again to Healthy Street and I'm gonna walk around the most developed area because this is by the university, so they're trying to build like apartments, a lot of local restaurants happening around. They do during the fall season or late summer, early fall, the Healthy Street Festival every year during September, but I'm gonna see what's happening over here. It's not a pretty wide street, but a lot is happening over here. You'll see some pretty interesting things. And once I cross this intersection of uh, Raymond Boulevard, that's where you're gonna start seeing it like brand new. Like more happening than this is new. I think Teriyaki Madness. Also, I'm a fan of Kung Fu Bubble Tea. They're gonna open one here in Newark. Not sure where, but I think it's close to the university. Then there used to be, it is still there, the old Prudential building, but then they developed this one the newer version which is being open for a couple of years and they developed this one here with a couple of stores around too so then I made a detour over here to show you one of the little streets over here 
Got some nice apartments. And behind it, there's a new apartment, part of the Irby, which is a company here in North Jersey. And some of the streets, in particular James Street, is beautiful because it got some brownstone buildings, so I'm probably gonna walk over there towards the end. But I'm, I'm gonna keep showing you Healthy Street. This is where the small business start. Peter Square, Black Swan Espresso. Heard it got some good coffee, so someday I'm gonna have to venture. Every time I come, I keep seeing new business over here. Like I said, this is probably like the most developed part of the downtown side of Newark. And pretty beautiful then, part of the Prudential building. So it's one of my favorite streets in the city. And then this is where the old architecture and the new one collide. I think this is like an apartment complex. I'm not sure if it's part of the dorms for the university. And then here you got some preserve, beautiful brownstone buildings. Kind of like the ones you're gonna see in New York City. Not sure they develop it, but yeah, it's pretty beautiful. And then this over here is a new apartment complex and the Rutgers University is over that way too. And over here states for rent, so they want to open shops. So give it like a couple of years and this neighbor is gonna be pretty lit. But yeah, pretty interesting. And here you get a better view of Healthy Street apartment complex. Then they even got a halal guys over here. One of the first brands they opened around this area, so it was pretty it was pretty cool. And if you go ahead, there's like more developments happening around. We got a hotel over here, the Village Hotel. And then part of the Rutgers University starts from over there by Washington Park and goes all the way for this side. The street is pretty nice too because it got a couple of restaurants by the university and Rutgers is ahead of me. And I've been to some of the restaurants here. They used to have uh, Cuban restaurants. I'm gonna see what's happening. So you can see the new apartments that they built here. This was not here a couple of years ago. And then they got a taverns over here. So I guess you could have a bar. I guess it's like an Irish bar, I'm not, I'm not sure. And here, some apartments are then on the first floor, a couple of restaurants. I think this is a Thai restaurant. And then here's a Cuban restaurant, which is pretty good. I've been here a few times and the flavor is good. It's really delicious. And then ahead of me, it's uh, Rutgers University. You see some developments, apartments, and then part of Healthy Street. Like I said, this is going to be the up and coming street. And then over here, they got a coffee shop and tea shop too. And a couple of businesses over here. You can see some of the businesses closed. And this is Bleecker Street. And when you see it in sign of the brown, you can't really see it clearly with a camera, but you know it's an historic district. And then you see the trees with the leaf colors of the fall season. So I'm just gonna keep walking a little forward. And then I'll probably turn back to Military Park and wrap up the video over there. My brother for a long time. Yeah, long time. Good to see you doing good. <laughs> that one that you saw was actually my friend Gyro, which he's working, he's patrolling like the streets of Newark, you know, traffic and all of that over there. So we had a little chat, you know, and good to see him doing good, you know, he's doing his thing, so doing different careers. But yeah, let's see what's happening in the city. So I made it here to Washington Park. Really calm, beautiful park here in Newark, New Jersey. And part of the university. Newark Public Library is over that way, but I'm gonna walk over here. It's pretty standard, nothing crazy going on, but has some pretty interesting architecture happening over here. So I'm gonna walk towards that way and show you what's going on. And here you got a cathedral. The light rail goes over there. I don't think you can see it from over here. I've been to the library one time and then a couple of historic streets over here. The tall buildings. And then there's traffic jam over here, but this is the public library. I've been inside one time and really beautiful structure building and then that's Broad Street right there. Then I made it here to James Street. Gonna walk a little forward and show you the architecture that's happening over here. Probably one of the nicest streets you're gonna find around downtown Newark. This is it over here. Brownstone buildings. I can say it's a tiny street, but it has its own charm. Pretty quiet too. And there's another one across the street, and I like it with the nature.
And then I like the designs of the streets, but this is beautiful right here. Perfect for Instagram pictures, you know. So you can see how beautiful the street is and pretty quiet. Hey, Dr. Tetra, you know, the brownstones. It's not a big street, but pretty interesting. And then even over here, I think mostly the college students live here, like a lot of young people. So, so that last session that you saw, James Street and all that, that was part of University Heights where all the universities are. But now I'm in another developer area. I'm gonna watch the military park and I heard there's a lot of things happening lately. And there are some developments going on over here, like high-rise buildings. They've been open, it's been here for a couple of years. The wholesale supermarket, which is like an organic supermarket chain around the United States and all over. So we're gonna see what's going on. So this over here used to be an old building, Hain and Court. There goes a car. But they renovated the building, and like I said, they opened a wholesale supermarket over here, City MD, which I've been there a couple of years ago. And then there's like a court, and you go inside and got a couple of business in the inside. So here I am in Military Park and it's always been here. They invested and they did some renovations over here in the park. And I think during the summer season there's activities going on. Then you can see what's going on. This is new in New Jersey Performing Arts Centers over there. They're going to develop like more buildings. And then the same people who developed Bryant Park in New York City, which used to be a park with a lot of drug addicts and stuff and they clean it up. The same people that design it and redevelop it, they develop this park over here. So some of them, they also call it like the Bryant Park of North New Jersey. Pretty lovely area, not much going on right now. Like I know in the summer season, there's a lot happening. And then the downtown is over this way. They even got a carousel and it goes all the way to the corner. And I think they also got like a burger joint, but I'm not sure if it's open. And here you see more going on. And then some of the old buildings of downtown Newark and a statue of Military Park. So here, right next to the park, there's a parking. And there's a couple of business over here. I think there's even a hotel ahead of me. This is some of the newest condos they develop. And it kind of looks, the way I was made, it's kind of looking like the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. And in the summer, it's a good vibe. They do a lot of concerts around here. And a really beautiful start to build them, but it's been here for a long time. Even when I moved here to Newark, it was right here, this building. That was the end of my video exploring Newark, New Jersey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody. God bless y'all, and peace.